Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and from the dojo near the top of Ashina Castle, I'd like to welcome you back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. The end of the last episode was a little unintentional because we found ourselves at odds with the main boss of the area, Lord Genichiro, who has indeed taken Lord Kuro hostage, and that is something I don't want to deal with quite yet, and in my pursuit of finding cool new items and things like that, I got a little overzealous and uh, popped into the cutscene, but that is just a glimpse of what's to come. Apparently, I forgot to grab this, but it's another eel liver, which is going to be very important for that fight, as well as this hanging scroll of an old battle. Ghosts once lurked the lands of Ashina. The ghost lightning was of the fountainhead gods, unstoppable by normal means. Avoid ground, reverse the lightning. Hell yeah. An incredibly powerful technique is the lightning reversal. If you're standing on the ground when lightning surges through you, it's going to deal a ton of damage, it paralyzes you, and it keeps you vulnerable to a heavy attack. But if you're struck in the air and ungrounded, it can be dispelled from the body and shot back at an enemy instead. This is actually a lot easier in practice than it is, I guess, written down. And once you get the timing down, it's not the worst thing in the world. And we're definitely going to be making heavy use out of that. But it doesn't happen very often. Before we do anything else, I also cannot believe I forgot to procure our third prayer necklace. The bull was a fiery rampaging beast and nothing more. In the last great war, the corpses of Ashina Samurai piled high. Something had to be done. Indeed. Vitality and posture were increased, and we can go and continue our spat of optional materials. Starting with another remnant. Hey, これが足の秘策だというのですか。はい、飲んだものは生中にはしない。死ねぬようになります。そして、落ち水もまた。その源は流院にあるというのだな。はい。エマノ、私には流院が尊いものだと。とても思えない。Honestly, I'm on Lord Kuro's side. Rejuvenating waters, being unable to make a person who drinks it die, spouting from dragon's blood of all things? Come on now. That just sounds pretty nefarious if you ask me, and nothing I want to have anything to do with. Right? Anyway, this gentleman, he can go and, uh, oh my god. Retaliate in kind, please. Yeah, normally in the pursuit of Divine Confetti, you kind of learn how to fight these guys pretty often. Oh, hello. But, uh, he doesn't normally do that. Oh my god, and again. I'm trying to get the Makiri. Not gonna happen, apparently. Oh, this is bad. Well, thanks for this ceramic shard, I guess. Perhaps he saw a puppet at Tang's with a mullet and a popsicle. Who knows. Everyone seems to have respawned, which is not good, but I would like to uh, snag you. Maybe also take advantage of you, ma'am. And if possible, sir? Really? <laughs> That's bad. Ooh. What are you thinking? Can I get the yoink? Oh. Ooh. Didn't even see it coming. It's not the worst thing in the world that we're going through this again. Because I actually forgot an item that I'd very much like to pick up right about now. And uh, it involves the copious amounts of money we're about to be spending here. So what I like about this guy in particular is that if you kick one of these kneeling pads over, he'll notice. And it's already really quiet in here. It's just a nice little touch because you can like knock over rocks and run into vases and destroy them. And as it turns out... It's People have some pretty selective hearing. Take care of this one. You will fight me with honor. I will Makiri you with honor also. The delay. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oof. I was in the middle of an attack there, but sometimes you can get the Makiri off, which is nice. So I am just picking up 
after the end of the last episode, but I looked at my notes and apparently I'm down a heavy coin purse and it is right behind here. I knew there had to be something else, but I figured because they already gave me the light one that there wouldn't be another. That's fine. We're okay. Um, because now we get to deal with something substantially worse in my opinion. All of these guys just pale in comparison to what lies beyond here. And boy, I am not looking forward to it. We have not one, not two, but three night jars. And I think for the most part, I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked here. So even if I try to bring one of them over, they will all follow suit. It's not very fun, and yeah, there it is. So I don't know, I'm gonna bring out the firecrackers. I meant to activate the sugar. Oh God, sir. Jesus Christ, excellent did the Ichimanji, which, okay, so that actually was not too bad. If I can, yeah, get that one. What is happening? Oh my God, I'm getting comboed and I couldn't get my fucking thing off. Okay, this is why I got the defense up. Holy hell, man. We can just keep them separate. That's perfectly fine by me. You guys are really overzealous, you know that? Thank you. Anybody else? Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I was waiting for that one. See, the spring load, it takes too long to get off, so you can't use it as reliably. It's very annoying. And now we can fight properly. Thank you. And it's like easy when you don't have anybody else ganging up on you. Yeah, that one, that one's rough. That is not among one of my favorites. All right. So over here, was the prize worth it? No, it is yet another eel liver and a pellet. Cool, thank you, I do appreciate that. But we do find ourselves in another tower and we have Ishin's letter. Dear Emma, the Ashina castle gate has grown loud with the sound of scurrying. The Tengu will see to the rats. Worry not. Ishin, huh? Interesting. Well, once again, we're out here, and I think it might be later, but there's a black box that we can open. And yeah, it might be a bit later, but you can see kind of the previous area, more night jars waiting. And if you want, you can jump down. I just don't think you can make your way back up, so I wouldn't exactly recommend that. Also, don't go exploring too much, otherwise you're going to find yourself accidentally <laughs> fighting the boss. So once you get up there, that's when all hell is going to break loose. But I could have sworn there was at least one more item around here, but if not, that's fine. We can probably go and make our way back through into that window, which is right over here. Cool. And now we can go to the bottom floor. I could have technically done it from the top. I just think it's a little safer to do it from over here, so do this, and always go for th this gentleman. There we are. Now, will the firecrackers work on you or not? Probably not. Oh, hello. Gentlemen, all at once. There we are. <laughs> Get my health back this way. It's fairly safe. Thank you. Sir, what are you doing? Do you want to come out here? Would you like to join your friends? No, you wouldn't. Look how long it takes to light that off. That's so long, man. Still keeps them nice and distracted all the same. Well, this is where I wanted to be. This is going to take us to the outside again, clearly. Uh, and there's a couple of enemies just kind of hanging out. I don't know what that one's doing, but he's got a spear, so I want to take him out first. Even though I can give him a nice little taste of the Makiri. Thank you. That actually works. <laughs> this guy. Oh, thank you for... Oh my god. Fucking up my timing. Ooh. Does not matter. Holy hell. Gokan Sugar. That is a get, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Oof. Let's settle down for just a minute. And let's grab ourselves another idol to the old grave. 
This place is a little important for certain things, but the first thing you'd want to do is head over to this very specific grave. It holds Dragon's Blood Droplet. Again, we do not have the recovery charm, so it's not going to serve much of a purpose right now. I think that's okay. We shouldn't need to worry about it. There is a lot of enemies here who are going to try to blast you in the face. So let's just try to take this out as methodically as I can. Starting with this one right here, right? Actually, that's probably going to be a bad idea. Do I dare? So I want to get up there. Get the cannoneer. Oh my god. I was half convinced that was going to mess me up. Can I do this? Here you go. Reload. Oh, he will hit you too with it, which is cool. That guy's gonna get cheap hot shots off. Awful quiet, man. Can't believe you would do this. Thank you. Oh my god. And the spear. Anybody else wanna try to get in the cheapest shots of them all? Because by all means, this is the opportunity to do it. Uh, can I get this guy? Oh, that's a watcher. That's bad. Pretty sure I can just shuriken him, but. I want to make sure I don't get blown up. Don't get blown up, Mr. Cruz. Okay. Is he going to shoot again? There we go. Just got to wait for it. And... Watch out for that, because he will tank a lot of hits. It's actually pretty annoying to have to deal with. This guy, meanwhile, is not entirely sure <laughs> what he should do here. I don't blame him. He's going to keep taking a piss. <laughs> Disgusting. That is just gross, man. And if we head over here, you might recognize this broken bridge that I mentioned a while back. This is the Great Serpent Valley, and this is uh, where we fought a couple of guys a while ago. That watcher over there, amongst other things, that leads to the Headless, to the Demon Bell. So, overall, Kind of a cool little way of reintegrating us with the world, even though we can't really get over there right now. Later on, we do. Uh, but that will probably do it for everything here. At least all of the important stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, the main reason why you'd want to come here is obviously to go into this building. This is going to be very important. Don't take my word for it. Just. Trust me, all right? It's the Black Hat Badger. だから、寄せつったんだけどな。全くしつこくって嫌になるぜ。面倒くせえ。うん。おめえは豊かの衆か。いいよ。まあ、そうだろうな。風情が違え。だがどうやら同業だ。俺は黒笠の無人な。おめえは。はい。愛想のないこった。しつこいよ。手に仏頂面の忍び。足の連中も外で騒いでる。まったく。いい日だね。お主。抜け人か。ま、そんなところだ。ところでよ。Well then, I think you and I can do business. This man has Yashiriku's Sugar, which I have mentioned in the past, not exactly my favorite. It's probably more akin to a terrible menthol cough drop, but it's not really worth it unless you're really confident in your abilities. The bite down is a very interesting move uh, item because it allows you to kill yourself. <laughs> and we'll get into why you'd want to use that a little bit later, but what you definitely want is the Iron Fortress and the Anti-Air Death Blow. This is going to be so good against certain enemies. Still not the Nightjar, unfortunately, but the Iron Fortress is going to be a must, and you'll see what I mean by that a little later. Uh, we will need a total of 2,800 for that, so... 
because we're not really at liberty to sell anything to this fine gentleman, we'll just go ahead and use our bulging coin purse. We'll find another one pretty soon. And I think I might... Huh. There's another thing that I want to buy. And I think it's worth 2000 So we'll take that. And <laughs> hope we don't die on the way there. I'm sure. Um, did you actually have anything interesting to say? <laughs> oh yeah, I want it. The Iron Fortress is mine. And sure, you know what, I'll take the death blow text. Nice, I think we're set. You want to purchase these as soon as you possibly can, because if you don't, eventually he will disappear, but his wares will not. And we'll be able to purchase them later, I just think they might be a little more expensive. I'm not sure. But it doesn't really matter. All you want, really, is uh, the umbrella. But yeah, I think that is also all of the items, with the exception of the one over here. I'll go and snag this up out of the nest. Whoops, that's, hello, thank you. More sugar, which I do appreciate. And if you want to get here quicker, you can jump in through the uh, hole in the roof there. Well, we'll be fine. Everyone should still be dead, but it's not going to matter because we've got ourselves yet another conversation to listen in on. Gentlemen, I think you have something I want to know. Hmm. ええ。そうか。that's right, I think that's what Anayama was looking for. Somebody to tell him that <laughs> these samurai need salt. Do some of this. And of course, oh, thought you could shoot me then, huh? What do you got, friend? Ooh, not a very good shot, I'm afraid. I appreciate your kindness, and I will reciprocate in full the next time I see you. Um, you could go into the water if you want. It's just until you dive, there's nothing there for you. So just don't waste your time. And instead, we'll grab a possession balloon. Nice. And I think from here, can we reach this? I'm pretty sure we can. There we go. Yeah, this actually won't even be able to lead us to anywhere up there. But there is an item over here, which might not be the best, I think. At least I hope it is. Scrap iron, cool. We'll definitely need more of that later. And <sighs> fishies, why? Why must you torment me so? So coming in through here, was there an item over near this? Thought there might have been, but I always have a tendency to just walk past things. And now I'm hyper vigilant. It's like I'm not missing another heavy coin purse. Not today. We have some spirit emblems, but <laughs> we also have a new type of enemy. Monkeys. Luckily for us, they too can be felled with a single shuriken, especially if it's spinning. Yeah, you want to be careful with these ones, because uh, if they attack you, they will just mess you up. They don't drop anything, and eventually, it's really funny, they start wielding weapons. That's when they get scary. The monkey has a gun and refuses to take his medication. Yeah, we won't have to worry about them. Their attacks are pretty easy to uh, kind of read and stuff, so I wouldn't worry much about it. But we'll grab another balloon of spirit, which is nice. We don't see nearly enough of those. And grab yet another idol. Whew. Well, as it stands, uh, let's keep on going for just a spell. 
And there is one thing that I'd like to grab down here. Well, maybe two, actually. We'll go and do this. And what is this, an eel liver? It totally was. <laughs> I feel like they've just been giving us so many of those, expecting us to use them. And honestly, I never have. I just don't think it's worth it. I mean, just avoid the lightning damage and you'll be good, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Well, unfortunately, we have choices. The most obvious one being is to snag up this idol and whatever you do, be very careful when exploring this area because we're going to be introduced to a new type of enemy. One that will instill fear into the heart of hearts. And they come in the form of Snake Eyes followers. God damn it, how could you? Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to step back and not shoot me in the groin, please. I know that's your ultimate goal, but we'll just have to uh, chat about that another day with another skill point. Yeah. So we have a little bit of a crevice here and it might not necessarily be the best use of our time, but we'll be returning here at a later point once we can dive for a very frenetic fight. One that I'm not looking forward to. Plus, I think some specters will spawn here the next time we come around, but we're back at the outskirts, and there is a lone character. Oh my god, really? Damn gravestone. Why am I so awful at sneaking up on enemies? Well, we have a couple items strewn about, and would you hazard a guess as to what this could possibly be? A prayer bead. Of all things, just laying out in the open, and they give us that. So definitely worth our time, as well as the pacifying agent, which reduces terror buildup and increases resistance. Gravekeepers, executioners, the memorial mob, all who keep death close, keep this powder closer. Adhering to a simple rule, if seized with fear, cover your rear. <laughs> I can't believe they actually went with that, but it's incredible. Oh my god, are you joking? My monitor is doing the stupid fucking OLED refresh in the middle of recording again. Luckily I stopped at that time, but grab a couple more pacifying agents, three of them. <laughs> Does not exactly bode well for us in the future. And I think just to make this a little bit more speedier, let's head back to our last rested idol. Goodbye. Back at the Sunken Valley, we will go in the other direction, and this time, uh, before we do, let's go and actually get ourselves a new skill. One that I've been waiting to use for a hot second is the Flowing Water. Reduces the amount of damage to posture when attacked with a sword, much like the Flowing Waters known by the Ashina clan. Strength should not be met with more force, but instead redirected, like the Flowing of Water. Absolutely, I will certainly take that, and we will be on our most merriest of ways, dealing with more assholes. Assholes bash. I'm gonna wait till he shoots. Oh my god, so he can actually hit you out of the air to the annoying degree that you would expect in a game like this. Thank you. Holy hell. Okay, I think we're we're all right for now. Is this? Hold on, am I going the wrong direction? No, I shouldn't be. Because there is another specific thing I'd want. Snake eyes. How do you do, fellow friend? Yeah. It's not very often you only find one of them, and without another one shooting at you, just know that things are going to get pretty gnarly later on. And I don't want to go in that direction just yet. That's where we have to go to complete this area, but we're still lacking in a couple of things. So I'm going to head over here first. I wish I could knock you off the edge. Friend hasn't quite noticed yet. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll come up if you insist. Thank you. Just spam the attack button and you'll win, I promise. We're looking good. They give a healthy amount of experience right now, and the prize we get for venturing this far out of our way is another Gourd Seed. Hell yes. And yellow gunpowder. Very nice. 
Well, unless I'm absolutely missing the worst possible thing that I could be right now, that is everything that we should do in this area. So, let's get our upgrades going, shall we? They are well overdue. First and foremost, we have a new friend. You remember that merchant who was going to give you some information about the night jars? Well, he is setting up shop here, and it is a doozy. Oh, this fine gentleman is loaded as hell. He's got two dragon's blood droplets, he's got pellets for days, we can get powder from him, and most importantly, another gourd seed. Please and thank you. I have three in my inventory? What the f What have I been doing? All right. He's also got memos for the Sabimaru, which we already picked up and have yet to hand over to the sculpture, and the three-story pagoda memo, which will lead us to the Raven's Mist Feathers. For now, we will be back, and I've got some explaining to do. Thank you. Just please take all of these board seeds. You can keep giving them to her. There we go. And before you know it, we now can carry... What is that? Six or seven? I don't remember, but it's plenty. We've also got a couple of new toys to fix onto our arms, so I will present to that. Post haste, a Sabimaru, and the loaded umbrella. We don't have enough money to really be able to upgrade anything, but I am pretty partial to the spring loaded axe, which lets us continue our string of attacks if we're not too reckless about it. Um, apparently I'm still missing something there, but one of the things we're going to be looking for definitely comes in the form of the lilac umbrella. This is going to be probably the next thing that I'm focusing on, and if you really want to, you can also get the Phantom Gunai. Perfectly reasonable place to put it, right smack dab in the middle of everything. You just need to upgrade everything beforehand. And we're still missing one prosthetic tool. Or are we? Yeah, so we'll definitely get into that a little bit more. There's not a lot of other huge purchases we're going to need to make. It's mostly going to be in getting the Sen and also the materials that are going to be our main obstacle. That is pretty nice for us. Now that we have our information is power talisman, I think there's a certain peddler by the name of Anayama who wants to maybe capitalize on the fact that samurai are in dire need of salt. And we should probably let him know. Alright, Anayama, you son of a gun. I've got a healthy dose of information I think you're gonna wanna hear. <laughs> ほんとですかいだな。ああ。塩が足りぬようだ。なるほど、塩か。食うのはもちろん。死人の清めや怪我にも使う。戦場で死体が腐れば流行り病も通りってわけだ。皆塩がなくて困り果ててるんだ。そ
The last time we were here, we did not progress any further to see what lied here in the audience chamber. There is still one last gentleman wanting to get his entrails spilled out on the floor, but there is also a familiar face. <laughs> Sonata. わかさまのこの先へ行くのはやめておけ。恐ろしき剣術よ。種ならしがなければ破れぬぞ。これをわずかだがそなたに託そう。Young Lord gives us his final snap seed. Tane Damn it. Well, I think it goes without saying, we should probably throw on some snap seeds. These are gonna help during the second phase of the fight when illusions are summoned, but if you don't have them, you can still somewhat evade them. You would just have to be very careful about it. On top of that, I would recommend at least bring in the shuriken, and if you really need to, the umbrella might be of some help here, but it's not imperative, and it's probably not worth it. The mystery even might also help, but I would just focus on learning the movesets and then being done with it all. Just remember, you are going to need to have spoken to Owl before and collected that final hidden temple key. Otherwise, this would be locked. So without further ado... Let's save Lord Kuro. しいな。袋の背がれよ。王朝と。行ってください。そなたはなすべきことをなすのです。わかりました。I suppose I will be the judge of that. Lady Butterfly is the shinobi instructor to the lone wolf. Everything we learned about being a shadow it was taught by her, and for the most part, she is fairly predictable in her movesets when she jumps into the air. That is your opportunity to capitalize. There we go. Or, if we can get into a rhythm, we can just keep building up that posture. Oh, and there we go. Wanted to get an extra hit off there, but... <laughs> the fight continues. Phase two, I was a little too early. You can usually get an extra hit there, but she's going to be faster, more crafty, and if she has a chance to snap her fingers, which I don't want her to do, if we keep her nice and entertained over here, she'll summon a bunch of spirit 
children to attack us. It's pretty tragic. With, with her phantom kunai especially. Come on. Oh no. Yes, the spinning is where it's at. Back into it. This is what you want to look for. <laughs> oh no, no. Oh, I goofed. I got distracted. Oh my god. Are we even going to have to use it? Oh my timing, what is it? Not for long. Let's finish her off. Not get too cocky, because... In memory of the Phantom Lady Butterfly, who was a seasoned practitioner of illusions. She also leaves behind the Sakura Droplet, which allows us one additional resurrective bubble. To repeat the vows of the Undying and be awarded resurrective power once more surely necessitates the aid of a divine child of the Dragon's Heritage. Well then, that is certainly not the outcome I expected, but it appears as though Lord Kuro, in all of his incredible divine wisdom, saved the lone wolf with his powers of resurrection. <laughs> おのれのうちに留めておくもんじゃ。武士どのはそこの仏で何かが見えたのか。お前さん、人の話を聞いてたか。どうなのだ。炎じゃ。炎。ええ。何を備えようとも、それしか見え。Well, I'm sorry to say, but we're done when I say we're done. <laughs> as much as I'd love to keep on going because I am so ready to revisit the reservoir and take care of everything else that needs to be done there and further enhance our techniques, I think we should end things off for now. I kind of was not expecting to do Lady Butterfly just yet, but had we not had that snafu at the top of the tower, things might have changed in how we went about doing this. But honestly, it was fine, and you fight her a lot in uh, other kinds of memories. For now, let's go and confront it once and for all.
The Phantom Lady Butterfly was appointed by the wolf's foster father as one of his mentors in shinobi techniques. These mentors employed strict methods. The cultivation of shinobi techniques can only be achieved in the midst of battle. Essentially just throwing me off the deep end, I suppose. But our attack power is now at three, which is great. And I'm excited for when we uh, really start ratcheting that up because these memories are going to start coming hard and fast. And honestly, I'm here for it. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I leave you here on the beautiful, hallowed grounds of the dilapidated temple. Thank you for joining me here in Sekiro, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody.